the soundtrack from Saving Private Ryan blasts from speakers on Paris Island to add to the pressure of Event One. Get your head lower, remember it! This is the Crucible, the culmination of the three-month training program for the US Marines. It's a 54-hour endurance test in which recruits are pushed to their absolute limits. No sleep, not a lot of food. All in all, it's just a, it's an event that breaks them down, but it builds them up to make them strong. I remember the first night not even being able to get my socks off without my calves cramping up. It took a good 20 minutes just to get those off. Um, I remember waking up the next morning and soaking wet from my sweat, not even water, covered in sand, putting those cold camis back on, and the idea of doing a whole other day of that. Mentally, nobody's prepared mentally for what happens. Physically, you can be. I mean, you can train and train and train before you come here, which is what we expect you to do. But mentally, nobody really knows the shock and awe factor. Some of the obstacles in the Crucible haven't been completed in years. One of the more challenging ones involves getting a tyre over the top of a 12-foot vertical pole. I've seen it completed numerous times. A lot of the females complete it faster than the males do. Because females do cheerleading. So they, they get on a pyramid and they get the tyre over the log and they actually listen to the drill instructor whenever he's briefing them. It's pretty br brutal, not gonna lie, but it's we've been trained, we've been training for that event for like every training day one. We've been we came here and we're like can't wait for the crucible, and it's something that you you mentally try to prepare yourself, but you can't really like physically you can prepare yourself like I I teach sessions, PT sessions, all that stuff, and um, it's just um, something that you you look forward to but then dread at the same time. The crucible culminates in a nine mile night hike. If they make it through this, they'll be US Marines. The thought of the revered Eagle Globe and Anchor Badge which awaits them makes the blisters, aches and fatigue easier to bear. It's a lot easier than I expected, ma'am, and knowing what's on the other side, it makes it even easier, ma'am. We have a lot to be thankful for and no one's shooting at us. Right now we're just having to carry packs and we have a snack in between, so there's nothing to complain about, ma'am. You're all so happy. Like, wh why is that? Is it because you're pretty much done? Um, it's really this group right here. We yeah. we're just we just get excited over every little thing, even if it if it hurts. We just get it, we find a way to get excited over it, ma'am. Take charge of your new Marines and feed them a warrior's breakfast. The warrior's breakfast marks the end of the ordeal. It's the first time they've eaten steak and real bacon for three months and the first time they've been allowed to talk to their fellow recruits at mealtimes. And there's lots to be said. The warrior's breakfast, we stuffed our faces to be honest. And it felt good, but now I'm really stuffed, and now we have lunch in about 15 minutes. We see them when they come in, they call them babies. Try to show them love, because you know they're young and they're away from their families. And a lot of times they'll tell me, like, man, we miss our moms and stuff. So I try to give them as much love. We all do. We watch them grow, and then by the time it's time for them to graduate, you can really see like how they done blossomed, and like they chest is up, and they really confident. I make sure I tell them like when I see them with their rifles and stuff, you can really see the the growth in them. It's it's dope. It's really dope. Their own crucible complete. All that remains for these, the newest U.S. Marines, is to clean their rifles and prepare for their graduation. Hannah King, Forces News, on Paris Island, South Carolina.